here with Jets wide receiver Garrett Wilson. Garrett, another week, another Pepsi Zero Sugar Rookie of the Week for you. What does this mean to you to be the four-time champ now? I um, mean, you know, I was just uh, tweeting about it earlier. You know, it's really special to me, and you know, these are belts that'll stay with me um, my whole lifetime, and uh, I'll be able to tell my kids about it. You know, brag about it to whoever, and. Uh, you know, it means a lot, so I'm really thankful for this fan base and uh, the passion they put in voting. So I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but you need 55 receiving yards to surpass Keyshawn Johnson for the most receiving yards as a rookie, as a New York Jet. Just one, were you aware of that? Two, what does that mean to you? What would it mean to you to break that record? Uh, I mean, that would be awesome to put your name down in the record books with someone like Keyshawn Johnson of, of that level and, you know, the Wayne Cabrera of the world and all that. You know, it's uh, really special to be, you know, even in that area code. and. Um, you know, for me, if I, I feel like if I, if I, you know, keep the same mentality that I've been having and, you know, come to work every day and come in to get better, um, it'll all take care of itself. You know, I can't say I knew about it going into, uh, you know, this interview, but to hear that, you know, it's something that uh, I know now and it'll be on my horizon and I can, you know, hopefully check that box at some point this year. What's been working for you these past two weeks? And is there something that's changed or do you just feel more comfortable or is it even something that that's beyond that? Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just football, man. And, um, I always say it's what I've been playing since I was six years old and I love it and and um, you know it definitely comes with time you know being at this level getting those reps under your belt and and uh, you know knowing the offense but but coaches have had a great plan for for our past game and um, I've just take advantage of, of my opportunities you know we got to um, you know we got to make the plays that we're called upon to make and, and you know that's really it you know make those plays that you're supposed to make and um, I've been blessed to you know, have some plays go my way and, you know, have a quarterback putting it on the money and uh, just taking advantage, you know, just taking advantage. So with success also comes maybe a different defensive strategy. You get a little more attention. How do you feel like defenses might try to guard you? And specifically for this week, after having 92 yards against Buffalo in week nine, do you expect Buffalo to try to shadow you or try to bracket you a little more? Um, I know they got some of their vets back, you know, in that secondary group and um, definitely expect a, a different plan from them. But you know, I'm confident whatever they, uh, you know, throw at me, I'll be ready for and, and coaches will have a great plan to counter that. And, um, yeah, man, I'm just excited. You know, every week is a new new obstacle for me. It's something new. And, um, you know, I don't expect anything to change this, this uh, upcoming weekend with a great opponent like Buffalo and some great players that they have on their team. So this is going to be your first game in Buffalo. Yeah. What have you heard from teammates, from coaches about that environment, let alone the weather? Yeah. And then also just, like, how excited are you to experience that and, what do you imagine the intensity level of that matchup to be like? Yeah, I mean, just growing up a football fan, you know, I kind of know um, what I'll, what we're getting into this weekend as far as going into Orchard Park. And um, I've heard rumors that it's in the coldest part of, of Buffalo. They built it there on purpose. That's that's kind of the word around the uh, facility. And, um, you know, the weather going to hold up and be all right. But, man, those fans are also someone, a uh, special fan, fan base. And uh, they really come out for that team. And the success that they've had in the recent years has only made that better. And um, you know, anytime you get a chance to play an in-division in rival and, um, you know, play for something in December, um, you got to go about it the right way. And um, that's, that's what I plan to do.